Shalom and blessings. It is again so good to have you with us as we look into God's word, as we learn from his word, and as we learn lessons for our lives. Through this week, we have been looking at the faith journeys of men and women, starting with Jesus, who is the author and finisher of our faith. We are looking at the Hall of Faith in Hebrews 11. Today, our focus is going to be uh, on Enoch. Uh, Enoch had a walk of faith. We see a brief account of Enoch in Genesis, in Hebrews and Jude, and there is this mystery to his character. So let's read from Hebrews of his account. Hebrews 11, 5 to 6. By faith, Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death and was not found because God had taken him. For before he was taken, he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a reward of those who diligently seek him. The account of Genesis of Enoch is rather quite brief and it has just a couple of verses um, uh, to it. But the few highlights that we see is the way that Enoch walked with God. In fact, it describes how he lived and it describes that twice over in those two verses. It says he walked with God, meaning that he had a close fellowship with God. He had an intima intimacy with God. It was something that was habitual. It was not one off, but it's something that happened over and over again. There was a reverence and there was a complete obedience to who God uh, it was. Now, this close intimacy that Enoch had was in absolute trust and confidence in who God uh, was. He knew who his God was. And th this, this verse also accounts that he did not see death. He did not see death, but he was taken away. Enoch had a testimony of faith. Uh, that is, he had this close and intimate walk with God with the complete dependence. We see that because of the close walk that Enoch had with God, it pleased God. God was happy. God was delighted because of that confidence that Enoch put in God. We see in verse 6, it says, Without faith, it is impossible to please him. There are three things or aspects from Enoch's faith that we can learn. The first one is that it is possible to please God only when we have a close and intimate walk with him. The second that we learn is Enoch believed that God is. He knew that God existed. He knew that he must believe and come to who God is. And the last that he, we learn is that God is a rewarder of those who seek him. And this is the way that Enoch lived. The lesson that we learn is that God rewards our walk of faith and will not hold back what we have believed of him. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for what we have learned out of the faith walk of Enoch. Teach us to have an intimate walk with you so that we will please your heart and we will believe that you exist and you will reward us for those who diligently seek you. Teach us, Lord, to have a wonderful walk of faith with you this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.